Hello? It's me, the guy. Um, I guess we should full screen this game and see if it actually captures. I think it's gonna be one of these games that doesn't capture. Yep, okay. No big deal. Where's the like hotel? Specific window. Bada bop boop. Bop boop. No? Oh, yeah, okay. So, there's sound on and off, and music on and off, and there's no volume control. Luckily for you, I can control the volume for you. Um, Rusty Lake Hotel is part of the Rusty Lake and Cube Escape series. Feel free to play more. We played Rusty Lake... I can't remember, Paradise. Rusty Lake Paradise before playing these ones. So a lot of the things in Paradise didn't make a lot of sense because we hadn't played the earlier iterations. Paradise is a prequel to this series and essentially tells you about how the island with the hotel was formed. And I'm pretty sure that these ones, Rusted Lake Hotel and Roots, take place on the island. So, I don't know. It should be interesting. They're point and click puzzle games. Um, they are what they are. They can be a little bit jank at times, a little bit difficult to decipher the solutions to the puzzles, but we'll get through it. Good afternoon. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Owl. I am the owner of the Rusty Lake Hotel. Oh look, the guests are arriving. They all have their own reasons to be here, and I... I have my own reasons to let them stay. We will be having five dinners. Make sure everyone is worth dying for. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful week. Let's make some memories. So, the first thing I've noticed is the concierge here is a raven, which is like a symbol of death. And he's um, driving the boat kind of like Sharon across the river sticks. I don't know if that's a thing. Use arrows to move around. It means these arrows. The music's actually pretty subtle. Let me turn it up for you guys. Yeah, let me turn it to like five. I'm kind of getting a Royal Tenenbaums vibe from some of these like layouts, like especially this one. Um, no idea what our goal is. People are drinking, some people aren't. We got prawn cocktails. Let's let's do what we normally do, which is try and get some items. Right? Point and click games, you try and acquire items. Welcome the guests to our hotel. So I guess I'm working at the hotel. Um, let me give this guy a shrimp cocktail. All right, cool. Are you ready for my photo shoot? This smells a bit fishy. Fruit. The boar doesn't say anything, okay. This guy kind of looks like Benedict Cumberpatch. Are you seeing it? Thank you, but I'm more a meat person. Well, we can't take it back off him. Oh, I think I clicked through the door. Do you believe in magic? Come see me tonight. Funny looking food. True. You just run my bath tonight, okay. I don't eat pink food with eyes. Um, should I be writing this down? I feel like I, I should be writing this down. I'm writing it down anyway. So, she says no pink food with eyes. And what does she say? Oh, shit! 
I just spoke to them a little bit and they went to their rooms. What? Did I fail? <laughs> I feel like I failed. Alright, let's answer the phone. Have a look at my portrait. Mr. Owl says, look at my portrait. Alright. <coughs> Recipe, deer steak with mushrooms and rosemary. I need deer meat, rosemary, and mushrooms. Wild boar and red wine. Ah, okay. So I'm making the five meals that I mentioned in the beginning. The bad thing is that those wines that they dropped to get their cocktails, I didn't pick them up. No dinner at night time. Hi there, I have heard the guests have arrived. I need you to get fresh ingredients by tomorrow. Okay. You can see the recipes in the menu. So I'm guessing the first recipe we're doing is this one. So we need rosemary, deer meat. Okay. Interesting. Um... And these are keys. So probably every like meal we make, we'll get a key. Um, our mushrooms disappeared. So we're on floor zero. This is ground floor and this is first and second. Okay. And it's removed my recipe cards. Yes. Mr. Deer's research plan. What is in the lake? Is there a way down? Something, something, something. Okay, we got a key, we got a plant, and we got like a cloche. Bloody Mary. Blood, vodka, Tabasco, special ingredient. Oh. Drink is not complete. Um, yeah, this is, this is one of these puzzle games where it's very difficult to work out what you're trying to do. Obviously there's a bug missing from there. A lot of these puzzle games, I've always found that the best way to solve them is to go around looking for as many items as you can acquire first. This is like a meat grinder thing. And once you have as many items as you can pick up, then you can start to actually solve things. <clears throat> oh, so this is the order of the symbols, right? I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be the order of the symbols for this chest. So the symbols are triangle. Um, a Naruto, triangle, and plus. And in order to determine the order of them, we have to work out what their weights are. So, if I put a four and a swirl, it looks like that's slightly heavier. And that's slightly lighter. Hold on here. So the plus is equal to one. I'd say that's the same. So the plus is one. Um, so this is less than five and this is five, right? The swirl is five and then the triangle is, triangle is probably three. 
Yeah, the triangle's free. So triangle plus one equals four. So triangle is free. Cool. So our solution is three, five, three, one. Ta-da. Can I knife this guy? Uh, there is blood flow to antlers, but it's normally on the outside on the stuff. Anyway, um, I'm guessing that this needs to be lit. I'm not really sure what that's going to do though. I felt like maybe the light was going to grow the thing. Key in here. Cool. Eight. Five and six. So we have five and six, we need to make that eight. Um, let me see if I can collect this liquid, maybe. Can I put the bucket somewhere? I'm doing a lot of clicking because I'm not sure where I meant to click. This is vodka. Blood, vodka, Tabasco. But there's the vodka, and we now have an empty canteen. And there's the blood. This could be the Tabasco. Alright, that is the Tabasco. And then what's the what's the special ingredient? Fire? No. I'm assuming that once the drink is complete, he'll drink it. Is this the special ingredient? Hmm. Is every room going to be a self-contained puzzle? If every room is a self-contained puzzle, then in that case, we shouldn't leave until we're done here. But if it's not, then we should leave. I don't have like war or anything. Okay. Ah. Maybe there's something I can... Is this water? I think we tie the bucket onto the... Yeah. And then it'll come up with something in it. Bucket with water. Um. Cool. Do you distill the water? Ah, all right, so I need to make this eight. So this is already at one, two, three, four, five, and this one's at six. So if we take the six and put it into here, this now has one. So if we do this, we now have six in this one. So to get eight, all we would need to do is for five in here, Five in here, that makes one in here. One, two, three, four, five. Throw this in here. And then this in here, and that makes six. And then throw this in here, which makes one. One and six. Now we have four and two, or five and two. Two, four. Two. Oh God. Oh god, we had one of these puzzles at the end of a game called The House of Da Vinci. And I, I actually ended up just brute forcing it. Because I couldn't work it out. Um, two, four, six. And then this one's five. That gives us one. 
What we're trying to get is three and five, right? We're trying to get three into this. I think that's the goal. The goal is to get three into this one. So how do we do that? We got one into this one, five into this one. There's five. There's five and five and one. Oh no. It's so silly, because couldn't you just like put it up to the level of eight? Why are we doing all this back and forward? You just put it up to the level. Two, four, six. This is six and this is five. But doing this doesn't do anything. Like, clicking between these two is gonna do nothing. Because we've got 11. So it's, what are you minus away from 11, right? All right, all right, wait, wait a minute. I think it's this, I think it's this. This is six, this is now four. This is four and this is six, that's, t that's 10. But we need to make it eight. We need to make it eight. Um. So that's three, this is five. There's one. Two, four, six. Now it's six again. <laughs> God. All right, all right. I think we're on to something. Two, four, five. This is five. This is one. This is five. So if we make this six, we have a four. So this is now seven, and we need one. One, two, three. Yeah, so we put this four into here. And this gives us one over here. Put this into here, and that gives us six. So four plus one is five. Fuck, fuck, I did it wrong. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. This is, this is, I hate this. I really hate this puzzle. It's so fucking difficult. All right, all right, all right. We got it, we got it. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, six and this is five. This is five over here because we have 11 total. Um, if I put this in here, we have one over here. So you have five and one. This is now ten. Put this in here. This is now two, four. Yeah, this is four. One, two, three, four. No, this is five. Fuck! I've been counting it wrong the whole time. I I don't know, man. I don't know. Can I leave? This guy laughing at me. I think the secret ingredient is going to be water. Because it's lake water, right? From the lake, so that would be the secret ingredient. I'm not getting it. How do I make eight? I need to somehow split this in half. All I can do is one, two, three, four, five. This is five, and then this is one. Wow, I made six, but I can make six just by doing this, so it doesn't help me. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, it doesn't help me. I'm, I'm totally... I feel like I'm missing an extra jug. I can't get it. If I put a 5 into here and then 6, it gives me an extra 1 here and I've got 10. And then now it's in two separate things of 5. If I take this and put it in here, this is now 6. How do you... How do you half this? Yeah, 
you're always going to end up with the same number, right? Yeah. I, I really don't get this. I don't get this at all. I feel like going to do another room first is the best way, because I'm really, like, not sure. Wait. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I use the other glass jar? No. What's the other glass jar used for then? It doesn't say it's an empty... Oh, the glass jar's for the... Okay, I think I know what you do. You put the moth into the glass jar, put him in the old moth grinder. Yeah. Butterfly. Um, maybe you don't. I really thought you would put the butterfly in the- Oh, the butterfly just goes on the wall. I don't know what that did, though. <laughs> I really don't know what that did. It didn't do anything. It was completely pointless. It did nothing. Um... Yep. I am more than stumped. More than stumped. This is this is terrible. Uh Oh, oh wait. All right. So it's round wing, V wing, then the kind of U-shaped wing, U-shaped wing. And then round wing, round wing. Okay. So, round wing, V wing, U shape, U shape, round wing, round wing. There you go. There's a seed. Does the seed go in here? No. The seed goes in the soil, and we need eight ounces of water to to yeah. <clears throat> This is, this is it. I still don't get this though. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to have to look up a walkthrough guide. I don't understand how you can uh, move between three things to try and get eight. The difference between these two things is one, which is great. But you have nowhere to store that one... Say this is like milliliters, it's not though. But you have nowhere to store that like one ounce of water or milliliter of water to, in order to like make it eight. Like where do I put this one? I need to use this five jar in order to get another one in here. Like if I could empty this five somewhere, I would be able to get another one. But I have nowhere to empty this five into. And that's where the, the issue is. Like this is four. And this is six. Makes ten. Alright, put it back in, it's still four. And if I do anything with this center jug, I'm gonna lose this one that I have. I have nowhere to put this one. Like, if I do this, two, four, five, yeah, like, great, now we got six, but, like, there's no way that we can move any of the water to make that have an extra one. One, two, four, five, like, that's it. Like, great, I've got six over here, but I could have just did it like this. Like, it doesn't... <clears throat> I'm looking it up. I'm 
looking it up, I'm sorry. It has to happen. I, I really don't believe that this is... Oh my god, whatever website that is, it just doesn't want to move. What? Hold the fucking phone. Pour the water into the glass containers. Get the leftmost container to be filled with eight. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna watch. We're gonna do this. <clears throat> so you pour. You pour the 6 to the 5, and then you pour the 5 to the 10. And then you pour the 10 to the 6. So you have 2, 4, 5, right? And then you pour the 6 to the 5 again. Then the 10 to the 6. So it just sets you back to the fucking beginning, what the... Then the 6 to the 5. Then the 5 to the 10. That doesn't fucking do anything. Two, four, six, seven. I'm gonna have to do this on my own. The, it, it doesn't, the, the walkthrough guide isn't helping. This is seven now, right? So if I do this, hold on, hold on. I want to change this difference, don't I? So now we have four over here. One, two, right? Two plus four. Two, four, six. Correct, right? And now I have an extra one. So this is now seven. I need it to be eight. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. This is seven. Oh, hold on. I think I've got it. These are these are both five now, right? But if I pour this into here, this is now six. And then if I overflow this into here, this is six and this is now five. So now I've got two fives and a one. No, I don't got it. I don't got ship. Can I just click a bunch of times? It's not gonna work, is it? Holy fuck, dude! Oh, I wish there was a reset button. The reason that the walkthrough guide isn't working is because I don't remember where the water was at the beginning. I think we poured the, the bucket into this and it made a... Fuck, I can't even remember. The only thing that's helped is that the walkthrough guide doesn't mention any other jars. I'm actually going insane. I'm actually going insane. I, I, 
Holy shit. Why am I getting steam pop-ups in this game? Overlay should be turned off. Overlay is turned off. Okay. So hold on here. Let's just fucking... Per the 6 to the 5. Per the 5 to the 10. Doesn't help. It literally doesn't help because I don't know how it be how it started. Shit. No. I really don't get this. Hold on. Now I have two. Hold on, hold on. Two, four. Four, five, and two. Four, five, and two. Is this it? Did I fucking do it on accident? No. No, I didn't. Two, four. Yeah. I wish I had somewhere else to put this fucking water. Holy fuck, dude. Holy fuck. Um. Ah, the most watched part of the walkthrough guide for this game is this fucking puzzle. You know, on, on YouTube, you have a little hump where it's the most replayed. All right, hold on. We got this. So the way it's filled at the beginning is it's filled like this. This is how it's set up at the beginning. So now I should just be able to like click what it says in the guide. Fucking sucks to use a guide, but still. All right, six to the five, five to the 10. Six to the five. 10 to the 6, 6 to the 5, 5 to the 10, 6 to the 5, 10 to the 6, 6 to the 5, and then 5 to the 10. So every time we're making a difference of 1 and adding 1 to the 10, I kind of get it. And then it makes you click it up instead of uh, like lifting it to pour it. It lets you just pick it up. All right, no more walkthrough guide because that was clearly the the most difficult or confusing puzzle for most people. All right, the water probably goes in the plant, right? No. Uh oh. I think it's meant to be distilling something out of the, um, out of the water. Right? Oh, fuck. Really? I'm literally stuck again. Yep. I'm stuck again. As soon as I've finished reading the guide, I'm now stuck. Uh, you must do something with this, right? We put water in it. The water is now doing something. What is it doing? Can't click anywhere. Can't knife it. Can we fill the canteen? It, there's no, like, clear filling spout. It looks like it boils, condenses somewhere along the line here, and then like drips back down. Uh, 
The morph sequence gave us the seed. The bucket with water just plants the thing. Ah, the bucket with water is what you use. You don't use the eight, eight things of that. So then the poisonous seed probably goes in this as well. No. Poisonous seed goes in here. Poisonous seed goes in the grinder. Then the poisonous seed goes in this. Ah. If this was designed different so that it looked like it screwed on to the... Never mind. Because this jar that we have here was identical to the one that was already in the apparatus. Rather than looking like we added the jar in, it was like, it doesn't really make sense. So we give him the drink. He drinks it. He dies. He gives a Gluck Gluck 9000 to a ghost. We stab him. We get some meat. Rosemary optional is interesting. Where was the rosemary? I didn't see any rosemary. Sure, I want to cook. No, let's see if we can find the rosemary. Um, I'm assuming it would be somewhere in here. I need you to run my bath tonight. Rosemary. Alright, I'm kind of understanding the structure of the game more, but I don't know how you get the rosemary. Ah. So when we come back to this scene later on, we'll have all five of the, the things, okay. Yeah, I don't know where you get rosemary. That just seems very random. They're like, I don't know. All right. Why did it fart when we lifted off the cloche? No rosemary, so they're not gonna like it. They're gonna be like, this doesn't have rosemary. Oh no, they're clapping. Almost perfect, two out of three. That's two out of three Michelin stars, by the way. All right. I'm guessing we have to visit the rooms. got one of the optional things. So I guess the first one was meant to be a little bit easier. And now it's getting a little bit more difficult. 
So for example, like we would only have one star if we only got the boar ribs. All right. What is on the other floor? Is the other floor just the other guest rooms? I like how we knock on the door and then we choose not to go in. That's cool. Alright, Mr. Boar. So we gotta find a way to kill him. This seems pretty straightforward, right? Um, we gotta arrange it so it's blue, red, red. Alright. So we gotta send all the blue up to the top. Huh? Why isn't it rotating? Huh? How does this work? You click the centers, right? Yeah. I think it was just was glitching. Yeah, the idea is you just send all the blues up to the top, which is pretty straightforward. Ta-da! Or at least that's for that side. There'll be a different pattern for the other side. An opium pipe. Toilet paper. I don't know what the monkeys do. Um, this is bread. It's a lettuce. Matches, okay. This is the shitter. Why is there always shit in this game? There was shit in um, Rusty Lake Paradise as well. There's always shit in this game. Candle, and you can lower and raise the candle. But I guess what we're gonna do is lower and raise the ax. Yeah, we're gonna put the ax on it somehow. Bring me a sandwich. Alright, there's some kakadudu on your sandwich. Mmm, loves kaka. Alright, now he's got the squirts. Um... Dear Mr. Ambassador, I was informed by our mutual friend about your addictions and anxieties. I want to invite you to Rusty Lake. Our excellent mental health and fishing facilities will give you some rest. Yours sincerely, Mr. Owl. So Owl was the guy that brought him here. Can we combine items in the uh, inventory? No. Oh, I think I give him toilet paper. All right, he's had the squirts, he's back. Now he's blowing fat reefer clouds. I don't know how this kills him. Do we need screws to like unscrew this? What do we need? The area is full of smoke, so maybe I open the window? Oh, I'm high. Yeah, I'm fucking high as shit. I'm on the old opium. Yeah, 
You know what to do? Of course I do. Damn right. Oh, he wants me to bring him a sandwich again. I really feel like this, uh... This apparatus is maybe like we raise the axe and then we cut the thing. Am I just feeding him his own shit over and over? What the fuck? Alright, sandwich, lettuce, um, kakadoodoo. But what about giving him the opium? And what, what do the monkeys have to do with anything? I don't understand what the monkeys have to do with anything. Um... Yeah, I don't have any opium to give him this time. Fuck it, let's give him the shit sandwich. What a weird game. This moves a lot more when he's not sitting there. Yeah, I can't give him any more opium. So that's the difference between uh, the last cycle of this room and this one. I think the monkeys are a key to this, but I, I don't know how. I also think that there's a possibility that like there's another combination for this safe. But I'm not sure how you would work that out. I'm gonna try and put all the blue on the bottom. <sighs> no. I don't get this. The monkeys just seem like nonsense. Like, the, the monkeys really seem like nonsense. Like, they don't do anything. Can't cut the picture. Can't use the candle on the picture to, like, reveal anything. Alright, maybe we just progress it by giving him the toilet paper again. another fucking sandwich dude I'm I'm so lost is it walkthrough guide time already the thing is about the rusty lake games they do seem kind of fucking you know hit and miss even like in the audio there's like weird stuff the boar room. No, nope. I'm walkthrough guiding this and I actually can't even find a walkthrough guide that helps. They're all on like shitty websites that are just like posting pages for the YouTube videos. This is by the official Rusty Lake channel.
What? I have absolutely no idea. No idea how you're meant to solve this. All right, this is what you're meant to do. He asks for a sandwich, right? You go collect his kakadoodoo. There's fucking blood in the shitter. You got some tomatoes, right? Don't even ask how he shout out tomatoes. Who knows? You put the lettuce, you put the kakadoodoo, you make a sandwich, right? You give him the sandwich, he goes off to the shitter. And here's the part where it gets strange, if that wasn't strange enough. You come over to the monkeys, and you press the monkeys in this order. Left, middle, right, middle, right, right, left, middle. Wait, it didn't even fucking do it right. Are you fucking kidding me? It actually didn't even do it. The, the, what? What is going on? Left. Middle. Right. Middle. Left. Right. Right. Left. Middle. No! What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? What? I have no idea how to do the monkeys. No idea. Uh, Rusty Lake monkey puzzle. Solve the free monkey puzzle through trial and error, and then take the key. You're meant to work out a series of 10 monkey puzzle inputs through trial and error. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That puzzle had like no feedback. Like what was the feedback? If the puzzle was to like, you know, if they clapped twice, then you press them again, they clap once, you press them again, they don't clap, and the puzzle was to make them so they all get to the phase where they don't clap, that would make sense, but I don't think that's what it was. So for example, if at the start this guy had two claps, this one in the middle had one, and this guy was on one, the puzzle would be click this guy twice, this guy once, this guy once, and then they'd all be on the same... Oh my lord. Rusty Lake games, ladies and gentlemen. Too dark. Well, now we got lights. So we need all blue on the right side. This is fairly straightforward. I like this part. This is easy enough. So then all we do is rotate this so the blue is on the right. And then we pass up another two. And rotate them until they're both on the right and then we rotate this and then we have a hammer what do we do with the hammer i don't know maybe we pry off these nails oh and that's why he needs to be at the toilet so you can hang this axe got it Then we give him the shitter paper. Then we cut this. Y yes. Okay. I mean, we did it. Was it a weird as fuck puzzle though? Yes. I don't understand how we were meant to work out the monkey sequence. I don't... 
understand what the feedback was for that. If I had a way to get red wine... I'm just gonna say yeah, let's just go, let's just cook. This whole game is meant to take about an hour by the way. I've taken an hour already and we're only on dinner two out of five. I'm gonna get two out of three stars because I don't have one of the ingredients. star just like crash landed and now all the lights are out it's a fucking bat oh it's the elevator guy Potatoes. All right, so I'm guessing the the recipe Secret rusty lake speciality. I'm guessing that the recipe we're on right now is I can, Maybe you can do them in any order actually. Yeah Maybe you can do it in any order. We'll do the pigeon then How do they not realize that they're all like getting killed? Pigeon is floor two actually. I clicked the wrong one. Give me some corn. Actually just looks like a pigeon, right? So there's space, dash, uh, this could be like an input sequence, I don't know. Uh, oh. Dude, I'm tired, what the hell. Alright, we got a weird sequence of numbers, and we got a pulley switch. We have filled in versus empty square. Triangle plus square equals four. And S minus swirl equals two. That's not enough information to go on for what, like, you know, to work that out. Um, square plus triangle plus triangle equals five. So that means that triangle has to equal one because square plus triangle equals four. So adding another triangle makes it five, so it has to be one. So triangles are one, squares are three. Um, three plus swirl equals G. Is it a nine or a G? Music's loud in this room compared to the other rooms. Um, so S. That's not an S, that's a 5. If this is 5 minus swirl equals 2, then it would mean that the swirl equals 3. Which would be 3 plus swirl equals 9? This is very weird. I don't know if this is a fucking letter or a number. What is this? Square plus that equals G. Yeah, fuck me, dude. This game really likes to just like fuck with you, right? It genuinely feels like the game just likes to fuck you up and give you like weird, weird shit. Oh, this has to go here. 
And then when you spin it, it makes a, a thing. Alright, she wants some corn. Is she gonna fart in the tub? So this is how to electrocute the bird, right? So that is powering one of the bulbs. And this is powering the other bulb. So I need to power all the bulbs. this music in this room and then once all the bulbs are powered I can electrocute the pigeon oh this is the radio thing so the radio sequence is two three four three Four, three, two, one. Okay. So the radio sequence is fuck. Let me see the radio. Two, three, four, three, four, three, two, one. There you go. And then a key grows out of the radio because that makes complete sense. get this all right so if this is s minus swirl equals two it would mean two plus swirl equals s but I, that doesn't help it's clearly not a five because the five is written here as a five square plus swirl equals g if that's a g then it makes no sense. If it's a 9, I've never seen somebody put a tail like that on a 9. If that's a 9, it means 3 plus swirl equals 9, which means the swirl equals 6. So the solution would be the triangle is 1, the square is 3, and the swirl is 6. Which would mean that the S shape equals... 8 because 8 minus 6 equals 2. You with me? You feel me? Oh! This is a whole fucking puzzle! I didn't even click on this table. This is a whole puzzle. We gotta do something with the bug. Ah, I've seen this game before. This is a Chinese game. You gotta place the things and not let the bug run off the table. Yeah, very difficult, difficult game. Yeah, look, he always has options. Okay, okay, we're not gonna walk through gate this one. This one's pretty good. Um, do we try and guide him towards the part where he has the least options? Shit. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my god. What? See, he's played this game before. Got him. 
Leather is trapped. I think I've got him. There's no specific square I need to like end him up on though, right? Cool. Got a stag beetle. Great. <laughs> it doesn't help me. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh shit, I'm an idiot. We got this. This is a... Uh, we have to sequence this now. Eight. This is six. This is a uh, one. And this is three. I was right. Hello. Um. Oh, now he pulls the lever. Great. Can I feed him a stag beetle? So what about this? This looks like it's missing a part. It looks like it's missing a crank. The this would turn and it would like cause this magnet to rotate this way horizontally, and then it would cause a you know polarity. Um. Oh wait, maybe we put the back beetle in the wheel and it spins. All right, now we got all three. This should be it. GG. Got him. That was a lot easier than the other rooms, but it was still so wacky. <laughs> still so wacky. Like, how do you even come up with that shit? Yeah, we're preparing this. I don't even... I don't care about getting 100%. I feel like getting 100% is gonna need me to, like, do weird things, like... Place toenails next to a door stopper so that somebody trips on it. It's just like one of these LucasArts-style games. Is there an order you can do it so that they, um... They rate it higher? Maybe? Nah, it's just gonna be the ingredients. Remember how I wrote down that the pigeon doesn't eat pink things with eyes? So you probably couldn't give her the boar. Uh, oh my god, why am I yawning this much? I like the weird occurrences that happen between the, the days. Like this bat concierge flying around and stuff, that was kind of weird. Gives it more of a horror theme. Alright, Mr. Rabbit. Um, so we got a pattern here. We got A. And we got 5. And the pattern is like a weird chiral looking thing. Cool. We also got drawers again. Got a knife. Playing card. Oh, this is the magic guy. I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah, he's magic. We got sword going this way. Oh, this will be the order to put the swords in the box. See that box thing? We'll, we'll need to find swords and shove them in the box. Rusty Lake Fear presents Saturday the 7th of August, amazing Mr. Rabbit magic show. Seats may be booked at box office. Yeah, 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 this is gonna be... Got him. Is that it? Okay. And then... This guy, Owl, has a... Hmm... Oh, 
So owl symbol is this thing looking upwards. So the owl goes here. The five is, we don't have the symbol for five yet. The ace symbol is this one. We got the eight and the four. All right, so we gotta find the positions for all these cards. Uh, two is this. Two is this one. And we need one more card. We've got a triangular stone. We got a sequence of purple, red, white, and orange. Am I doing this right or not? I think I did that right. Is the last card's gonna be under the hat? No. Okay. Hey. What did he say? Watch closely. Not doing anything. <laughs> Alright. Um, so the order is either going to be like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or like this. I guess we don't know what these are yet. Can't put the eye in the box. Can put the ring in the box. We got a key. Can we put anything else in the box? Ah, so we should rearrange these. This is kind of different. Is that it? What is how does that help us? I'm trying to find a way to kill this guy, right? Still feel like there's something else to do with this box. Put the ring in the box and it gave us something. Triangle stone isn't gonna do anything. When he changes his position of his head, what can we do? Can we rob him? Oh! I just did it a bunch of times and it gave me a key. That's it. You just do it a bunch of times, it gives you a key. I just pressed escape and made the game tiny. Did not mean that. Oh no! Did I just fucking leave the game? Oh no. I just reset that ship. Alright, we got one more remaining. Let's just look at this again. So A is this one, and then five is this one. Yeah, those are correct. And then this one is curling up like that. And that'll be the king. 
So then it's either this order or it's this order. Ah. It should be a box of swords. No, it's not. Right, he's now dead. Great. Mission accomplished. Oh, I think we put the eye in this head. No? Um, what is he doing now? What? What? What's wrong now? He has the eye. Is that it? Is he dead? And that's that's the end of it. I've used this poster, right, for the card puzzle. I've used this for the roses. I used this for the ring. I used this to get a... Uh, what did I get from this? I can't remember, but I got something. I opened the three things. I put the triangle stone in here. Oh. I just had to open and close the door a bunch of times. <clears throat> uh... Okay. And that should be it. Because if, uh, like, essentially we're failing that trick, right? We're, like, doing it into the holes that would actually kill him, rather than the one ones that would bypass him. Got him. You know she says photo shoot? Oh! Because he's dead, we got the thing. So if you wanted to do this in the correct order, you would have to kill the pheasant to get the red wine. Ah! So if you wanted the perfect... Ah, okay, okay. I think that's the thing that we kind of fucked up on. That's fine. All right, meal time. Oh yeah, we gotta go to the chef. Pepe, chef Pepe. I'll get two out of three stars again, I think. There's probably an achievement for getting all three, but it looks like you would have to have prior knowledge of the game to get all three. Since the order that you kill them is imperative. No strange occurrences, okay. So the next one is on floor one and it's the pheasant. And it says something about a photo shoot, so hopefully it's not going to get me banned from Twitch. Hopefully it's not like a lewd photo shoot. You know? Pheasant. Only fans. Only pheasants. Take my picture. Oh, I think we have to arrange stuff on it, maybe. All the pictures are blank, though. Alright, we got a paintbrush, we got a magnifying glass, we got some matches. We got a code arena. Um got a key. It's 
There's another key to that box. It's probably one of these. Yeah, alright. So we gotta prepare for the photo shoot. Ah, this will play a song. But we don't have the sheet paper. We don't have notes on the paper yet. Lady in Blue, Mr. Crow, and Mr. Owl. So I guess we need red paint. Photo liquid. Okay. Yeah, there's the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll get three out of three stars for this one. But we only would get three out of three stars because of the red wine. Hmm. I'm a little bit stuck already, but you know, it's early on. It's early on in the thing. Photo liquid has to go in the photo liquid thing. Oh, Memories of the Lake, a dramatic story about the past, Miss Pheasant, Lady in Blue. Oh, we gotta take free photos. We gotta take free photos of her. One in, is Lady in Blue. Um. I don't have any paint. What does the magnifying glass do? I thought Punch and Judy were gonna like punch each other and give us blood. Maybe we just put the, the plate into the camera. Oh no, you gotta put the plate into the photo liquid first. All right. We definitely need the background pattern though. How do we get the red paint? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It mentioned times on this, right? No, it didn't. We don't have anything to start that combination. Um, we don't have a way in the safe. All right, that's the weirdest way to get paint, but okay. Like this. I think that was it. Yeah, so both of these lights are on. She's the lady in blue, she has her hat, she has the cross. We have the plate ready to take a photo, so I guess we do it. And now we get a circle thing, an upwards pointing arrow, and an S. Cool. She seems fine, she hasn't died.
Cool. Crow mask. So now she has to play the part of the crow. And the crow is blank line, red line, blank line. Oh no. I wonder how this, this game like determines whether or not this is correct. All right, both of those things are right. We got another piece of wet plate glass, so I guess we just go and take another photo. She didn't change her outfit or anything though. And it's half past three on the clock. Gives us a small rolling pin. Oh, this will go in. This will go in here, right? Oh shit! I don't know what I'm doing here. I mean, this is music, right? But <clears throat> I don't know what we're putting into the music. Small rolling pin. Mr. Owl is the next photo. Small rolling pin. I've already taken your picture. How do I take a picture of her as Mr. Owl? Oh, Punch and Judy have the rolling pin. God. This game is so weird. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you're now Mr. Owl. Here's your mask. Very convincing. And Mr. Owl is a Charlie Brown. Low Charlie Brown sweater action. Put the tin type in the tin type hole and let's go. <coughs> ah, and there's the music notes. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, and then one, two, three. I would say this is four, three, two, one, two, three. Two, one, but that's not right. So it has to be five, right? It has to start on five. So it'd be five, four, three, two, then three, four, three, two, one, three. I don't know if that made any sense. It might be clearer once I hang it up on the wall. Yeah, so this is one, this is five. So it'd be five, four, three, Five, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, one, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, two, one, three. Ta-da! Get music. Um, lockbox. 
Oh, we got even bigger inventory now. Hold on. Gun. Um... How does this make her kill herself? <coughs> cool. Well, that worked. <laughs> Why did she kill herself? Did she get stunned by the bright light and just pull the trigger? There's actually an optical illusion here. Do you see if you focus on, like, focus here where my mouse is, right? In, like, the fifth hole. You can see black dots or gray squares appear in all these cross sections. It's an optical illusion. Very weird. Huh? The keys need to go in a certain order and I didn't even look at it. This one's a cloche, this one's the bat, this one's a picture of the lake. I don't know which order they go in. <coughs> yeah, there's the red wine. Sorry, it's too late to use this ingredient, yeah. There's no way I'm going to brute force this. Too many combinations. Um, Rusty Lake Hotel key com order. Three, five, four, one, two. Oh, there isn't an order. Because this is like the order that you killed them. <coughs> Rusty Lake Cigars. Yeah, we just go to the chef and he prepares dinner. And we get three stars. I think that the order is just, um, it's just the order that you should do the rooms in order to get 100%. You should bring the last dinner to Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl run the hotel. Click to continue. Is that it? Oh yeah, shit, 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 shit. I know what it means. It means bring the dinner to Mr. Owl up in his room. And I think because we have the cigars as like a bonus. Yeah, he'll be in the private room that we couldn't get into. And then maybe we get to go under the lake at the end. Like what it said in the deer's research. There we are. The last dinner. Thank you for all the memories. And Harvey, I'm really glad you brought the cigars. The lake will be grateful. Take a look at the black cubes. Yeah, because the sacrificing to the lake was in the other game, Rusty Lake Paradise. Take a look at the black cubes.
The memories are not only the key to the past, but also to the future. Have a look. Took an hour and thirty six minutes. Leave a review. Your stars. Yeah, we we kind of we got the cigar and we got this one. I think you need to do it in the right order though. You need to get the red wine for this one and the white wine for this one, which requires killing two of the other guests first. That was pretty good though. Two of the puzzles were a bit weird, but of course they were. It's Rusty Lake. Rusty Lake's a weird game. Anyway, it is 11 p.m. I've been streaming for an hour and 37 minutes. We don't have time to do another Rusty Lake game tonight. Um, Auf Wiedersehen. Good night. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry that I used a guide. Maybe I'm not the puzzle god I thought I was. Um, yeah, I'll probably play the next one in this series, which is Rusty Lake Roots next. The whole thing is that I played them in the wrong order. I played Paradise first and that's the latest one. That's the newest one. I should have played Hotel Roots and then the newest one, or played them in the release order, including the White Cube games. But, um, it's fine. It's fine playing them out of order. Basically, the, the lake, like, needs sacrifices to these kind of weird animal spirits. That's essentially what the whole game revolves around. Um, so, other than the story, you can play them in any order anyway. They don't rely on each other for um, knowledge on how to finish them or complete them. All right. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Good night. I just realized how weird it sounds to say good night on a YouTube video. It's good night because it's like 11 p.m. And this is on Twitch live. Anyway. S subscribe <laughs> fuck I never say that <sighs> alright goodbye I'm going for real now <laughs>